enjoyable to week five. Uh, hopefully the last four weeks have been enjoyable. Uh, hopefully you've been going through the workouts multiple times a week, really pushing yourselves and now starting to get the benefit of some of those sessions. This week I'm going to just change the theme a little bit. We've had, uh, we've had four weeks where you've had lots of different moves, lots of different uh, options for you, in the, certainly in the strength sessions. So this time I'm going to look at how we're actually going to get stronger and build on that. So we're going to look at some of the progressions. To do that, what we need to do to get stronger, we need to progressively overload the muscles. So overload the system, and that's the same with the cardio. We need to just keep overloading it, keep chasing it, keep pushing it. So we look at progressive overload. There's different ways we can do that without having to buy lots of gym equipment. One way we can do that is to change the speed of the reps we do. So we're gonna challenge ourselves by changing the speed. The other one is the tempo, so the pace at which we do each rep, and I'll take you through some of these. Another way we can do it is adding some pause reps into that. Uh, we can do more reps, we can do it for longer, we can add more sets. So there's lots of different ways we can, we can really challenge our bodies without necessarily having to buy extra equipment or put massive load on. So I'm gonna run you through some of the moves you've already done, but I'm gonna put in some variations into those that mean it's gonna really challenge our bodies, it's gonna really start to make us um, push and get stronger. And again, I've said it a million times, it's gonna mean we're, we're able to express force better, we're gonna put more, more power into the blades, uh, which means we're gonna get more bang for our buck, which means we're gonna be uh, able to go further with less effort, we're gonna be able to uh, just make moves we didn't make before, we're gonna have to hold posture better, and we're just gonna generally be all round better paddlers. So, hope you enjoy this session, and uh, I'll show you the moves. So for the first move in our strength workout today, I'm gonna to look at that back, coming back to the press up. I do believe the press is a really important maneuver for paddle sports. Again, it helps stabilize the shoulder. It really helps drive the top hand. Really, really important for all round strength, good forward paddling, no matter which uh, boat or craft we're in. So we're gonna look at the press up and you can do this uh, incline on the bench. I'll show you that in a sec. But what we're gonna look at here is we're just gonna look at changing the tempo of the move. So we're going to come into the press up position and just a reminder for that, I'm just going to engage the core, I'm going to keep my shoulders back, keep this shape up and I'm looking for this arrow shape down my, the, my upper arm in line with my head so that I'm not too high up here or too low down here. So I'm in a nice position with my hands kind of under my shoulders in line with my shoulders, I don't want to be too close, kind of here. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do that press up but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a really slow lower then I'm going to pause but then I'm going to explode back up. So I'm really changing, it's not just an up down tempo, it's going to be four seconds down, two second pause, one second up. So I'm doing four, two, one. You can mix this up as much as you like. So that will look like this. So I'm going to take that long arm plank position, I'm going to get my hands in the right place, just going to engage my core. When I say engage my core, I'm just kind of pulling my pelvis in so my, my core muscles start to engage and just put a little bit of tension into them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna keep my breathing nice and I'm gonna do like a four second lower down. When my nose gets towards the floor, I'm gonna pause for one, two, then explode back up. And I'm gonna keep that going. Pause, explode back up. What that's gonna do is it puts the muscles under, the time under tension for the muscles is really, really important to build strength. So I'm getting lots of time under tension, I'm getting that pause, and then the explosion part, which is gonna to start to build power, start to help me get that extra bit of velocity, is coming from the up, kind of push part of the, of the uh, manoeuvre. So it's really nice, it's really challenging, you'll probably find you'll do less reps, but that's fine. We're looking at building strength, so anywhere kind of three to eight reps would be great, uh, and then maybe five sets of that, so really slow. Weight on that pause, really power back up. Great move, let's get on with those. So slightly easier version potentially for, for people, if you're still using the, a, a bench or a chair or a sofa or bed to do the incline press up, then you can do a similar thing with that. So what we can do here is we can come into our, our bench and what I can do is do the lower section and I can do the pause section. And if I need to, I can put my knees down to power back up. So again, I can come into long arm, I can do the four second lower, I can do the two second pause. If I want to, I can do the one second up, or I can do the four second lower, the 
pause the knees and still do the power up. So again, I can still overload, even if I'm taking a slightly easier option on, on the press up. So if you're still working at being able to do full press ups, you can still use this and you can still get stronger. So go with that, that's just changing the speed, the tempo of the press up. For those of you who want a little bit extra into this, I can come and use a, a bench or a bed or a chair. Uh, picnic benches work if, you, if you're doing any workouts outside. You can even use maybe the height of your kayak as well so you can get your boat involved. If you're missing it, you can give it a little, little stroke as well just to say hello old friend and uh, won't be long till we're back together if you talk to your kayaks like maybe some of us do. Um, so what I can do now is I can put my feet on this and give myself a nice raised press up. So, uh, this is just going to change the, the, where the weight is over the press up. I can have my feet up on the bench. And all I'm going to do now is just do the press. We can either do normal press ups, because I've changed it already, or I can go back and do those ones we just talked about. So I can do the lower, the pause, the press. And I can keep working through that. Again, maybe, maybe three reps, maybe eight reps. Challenge yourselves, push yourselves. But that just adds another dimension, and again, it's going to start to progressively overload the muscular system. So we're going to get stronger, we're going to get better every single day. Enjoy. The next move in our, our workout, again, we're going to sit with using a bench or chair, whatever we're using, and we're going to keep working through the shoulders, working through the pecs, but we're going to add in a little bit of core and a little bit of extra challenge to this. So uh, something around, you know, a foot or so high is pretty good. You can go lower if you want. If you're feeling really strong, you can go higher. Uh, and I'll just show you this move. So, a few variations. This I'm going to go for long arm plank. And then what I'm going to do is switch, stepping up, coming up onto the, the bench. What I can do if I want to is I can take it as a press and up. Press if I want to make it a bit harder. So it just adds a bit of variety again, it's changing the load, it's shifting the load. It's going to end up getting quite cardio as well, which is brilliant. And it's going to challenge the core. Awesome move that one. Have a lap of those. For our main core session today, we're going to be uh, just focusing again on, on our, our abs obviously and our lower back. But we're going to just change things up a little bit. I've been asked quite a lot this week about uh, how we build the core, how we develop that control over the boat. So I just thought we'd, we'd, we'd sort of continue that theme. So the first one, uh, it's a different move this time. This works a little bit of mobility, but also just gets the muscles engaged. We're gonna do something called butt walking. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna come up uh, into a sitting position and then keep this posture up. And then all I'm gonna do is just walking with my buttocks across the floor, forwards and back. So I'm just walking backwards and forwards with my butt. It starts really getting these muscles here engaged, which are the ones that we use when we're trying to transfer edge, when we're trying to stay in balance, whether in a kayak, in a canoe, or on a sub. So we're just trying to work our way backwards and forwards. You can do it across your living room floor. You can do it whilst watching telly. And the more movement I put into it, the better. Nice and slow, butt walking. Enjoy that, it's great fun as well. Our next core move is gonna, I call, I call this the uncurling snail. Uh, it's probably got a proper name, but that's what I call it, because it, it's kind of, uh, it sums it up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just come up into a sitting position with our feet uh, tucked up next to us, and then we're gonna lift our feet just off the ground. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and move my feet as low to the floor as I can without touching, at the same time as starting to curl backwards into a boat position. So I'm gonna keep it really, really, really slow. Keeping those feet hovering out until my lower back is just raised, my feet are just raised, and I can start feeling that tension in my abs. Then I'm gonna slowly, controlled, Come back again. And I'm going to repeat. Nice and controlled. Now 
you'll really start to feel that tension and you'll probably start getting a little bit of a shake there as we might notice that in the video. The uncurling snail, get snailing. Because this week we're stepping it up, I'm just gonna show you another version of that which is gonna add that time under tension, that slow control with a nice explosive power movement involving our core as well. So back into that start position, we're gonna uncurl the snail really slowly, as slow as you can. We're then gonna put in a pause. And once we put in a pause, I'm gonna bring my hands up and I'm gonna snap back up and curl back in. So one more time. I'm gonna slowly uncurl, getting that control through the abdominals. I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna extend my hands, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna snap it back up. And I'm gonna repeat that through nice and slow. And getting that dynamic into it. It's really nice this one because it involves that big snap. It's brilliant for any of the kayaking maneuvers in particular because it involves that kind of hinging at the hip in a dynamic way, which means we can keep forward, we can get forward. For your freestyle paddlers, absolutely essential. So many moves involve that kind of flicking out of the legs or bringing the legs back in again, keeping that control with the core. Essential move, hope you enjoy that one. For our final move in strength today, we're gonna to start looking again at the shoulders, but how we can just overload those a little bit more and again, get that, that um, uh, progressive overload and, and just develop that stronger muscle, more stable shoulder, less susceptible to injury, but again, able to create a little bit more force in some of the, the strokes we need and the maneuvers we need. Not just create force, but also resist force, remember, from water, from the boat, all those kind of things. So we're gonna look again at the deltoid. So the deltoid being this muscle here, uh, and it'll also involve a little bit of the trapezius and a few of the sort of supporting muscles deep down within as well. So I can, if, um, if my arms are heavy enough to, to create the resistance, I can do these moves just with, with body weight. So I can just do a slow manoeuvre here and just do lots of reps of that. It's gonna take me a long time, a lot of reps to get any sort of overload. So what I do need to do now is, is add something. So we've used these before. Um, these are uh, just litre bottles, so that's a kilo of water I believe. Um, and that's just gonna create that that bit of resistance. So for this move, what I'm doing is holding the the, uh, the bottles here. It could be tin cans, it could be uh, bricks out the garden, whatever you need. Uh, and all I'm gonna do now is just bring that up overhead and back down, trying to maintain that bend in the elbow. There. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is just gonna keep doing that, but I'm gonna keep it nice and slow and controlled. Keep breathing all the way through. I shouldn't get any impingement or sharp pain in my shoulder. I should just after you know eight reps or so start to get some fatigue into that. So as I said before, we need to make this, this harder if we want to improve ourselves, if we want to get stronger. So another thing I can do with my, my weight is either I can take the move slower each time or I can pause. So I can come up and I can pause at different points of the maneuver. Yeah, I could take these out to the side and do side holds and just hold for 10 and then slowly back down. Or I could come out to the front and do a front hold for as long as I need to, it's probably 10, 15 seconds and slowly come back down. I could also add that, like we did in the, in the press up, I could add a power up and hold and slowly lower. I could do a power up and hold and slowly lower. These aren't particularly heavy. If you need heavier, then uh, I've been searching around outside, I can't find anything. So uh, what I can do is get some dumbbells and I can do the same kind of maneuvers with a heavier weight as well. So I can just kind of do the same thing, but just with something heavier. You don't need to go and buy dumbbells. You just need to find something that's gonna challenge that that the, the muscles really to make you work that little bit harder because just doing a hundred of these at body weight it'll get you slightly fitter but it's not going to really challenge you enough so some sort of resistance will make a massive difference so that's week five strength session uh work through those so what you want to be doing is anywhere between three to eight reps because that eighth one 
if you're getting towards that, that should be starting to feel really hard. That's how you know that you're on that, that rate of perceived exertion scale that I've talked about. You're starting to get up into the higher, you know, the eights, nines, and the tens on that eighth rep of whatever maneuver it is. Yeah, we've got to keep progressing, we've got to keep pushing. So don't forget, you can change the speed of the maneuver, you can change the, the tempo that you're up and down or in and out with. You can change the, the, if you have a pause at the bottom before coming back up or before lowering down, change it, mix it up, and just make sure that you're constantly pushing and challenging yourself. So that way you will get stronger, you will get fitter, and it will be noticeable when you're out in the boat. Absolute promise you. So it's cardio week five, should be feeling good now. If you did the outside sessions last week, I brought it back in again because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of snow and ice around today, so uh, maybe not a great day to be going out running. So we're gonna do a bit of a high intensity session, so a hit session indoors, just need the mat, just need your favorite tunes on the telly or a boating video, uh, whatever it is that's gonna motivate you. So we're gonna try and keep the tempo nice and high. So I'm gonna show you five maneuvers to do today uh, and then what I said to do is do a minute of each one after the other have a couple of minute rest then do another minute of each so you're going to do five minutes on maybe one or two minutes rest and then go again and try and aim for four or five sets of that that should keep the heart rate nice and high uh, this is going to work muscles this is going to work the heart and lungs uh, there'll be a bit of coordination in there as well so uh, should be a good session uh, try and keep the motivation high keep the psych high uh, it won't be long till you're back in boats and you're going to feel the benefit of this. First maneuver we're going to do, we're going to do a minute of mountain climbers. If you can't remember what mountain climbers are, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you a whole minute, you don't need to watch me sweating. Uh, so a minute of mountain climbers. I'm going to come into my long arm plank and then I'm going to bring one leg up and switch to the other leg. So we're going to do a minute of these. We're going to go as fast as we can for that minute. Keep that tempo nice and high. Try not to let you, we don't want any any bumps sagging in the middle, we want to keep it nice and strong and we want to be really powering those legs. It's going to really keep that, that hip strength, but it's also going to challenge our heart and lungs and just keep us really fit and nice and strong. A minute of those. The next one we're going to do, this minute is going to be, this is going to really, this will really tell whether you've been doing the last five weeks. If you've done the last five weeks, you'll be able to do a minute of this. If you haven't, if you've been shortcutting, you might struggle. So we're going to come up onto our bones, and what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a little move here that we're going to go out and back, out and back, trying to lower at the body, lower at the legs, and coming back again. So a minute of this, you're going to hate me for it, but it will make you better. So if you're still still with me, and don't hate me too much after those V sets. The next one we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some lunges again. We're going to start to build that power in the legs, power in the glutes, power in the quads, keeping our body upright. We're going to do a minute of down, press back, opposite leg, press back. So a minute of these, we must make sure that we keep control over this knee. So we, we want to make sure it tracks in line with our foot. So we're not going outside our foot. So when we do the lunge, we're here, we're trying to keep that, that line. Really important just to make sure we protect the knee. It's gonna give us good stability in the knee, it's gonna give us stability in the hip and our ankle. So definitely for the uh, one for everybody, but sock paddlers, absolute must to get this. That dynamic around the board, ability to maneuver around the board, really important. This is gonna help with that as well as being a big cardio workout because it's, it's working the bigger muscle groups in the body. A minute of those. For our next move in cardio today, we're gonna to do uh, some swing ups. So uh, I need a, some sort of weight. I could just use my kilo bottle. I can, I can go for something a bit heavier if I want. I could make a little, uh, grab a dry bag, put some weight in it. Uh, but for this one, what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna put it just back behind my heels. And then what I need to do now is I need to squat into it, grab it, and then I'm gonna press with my legs, bring my hips through and bring it up overhead. I'm gonna come back down, switch hands, and up. I'm gonna do a minute of these swing ups. Again, it's gonna work the bigger muscles, so it's working my quads, my glutes, my lower back. It's actually working into the shoulder as well. Again, I wanna keep the tempo nice and high all the way through. Minute of those. Last move of each set, so we, this will be our fifth minute now. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come down into long arm plank here, 
and I'm gonna press back and touch my opposite arm to opposite toe. Here. Again, it's gonna work my shoulders, gonna work my abs. I'm gonna keep it going nice and fast. And I'm gonna do that for a minute. That's gonna be great. That's also a bit of coordination. It's opposite, which is great for any paddling function. Keep that intensity nice and high. So we've done five minutes. Give yourselves a quick break, give yourself a drink out of a different bottle because it'll only get lighter. And, and then go again. Three, four, five sets set to that. You'll certainly feel it. I can feel it already and I've just demoed a few, a few exercises. Week five is done. Enjoy yourselves. So it's mobility week five now. Uh, hopefully you've been following along. Uh, if, if you haven't, maybe go back to week one, just look at some of the mobility exercises there. We just need to keep going with this now. Um, you know, like I say, we're in week five, so if you have been doing it, you're probably starting to, to notice a difference, hopefully. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit more mobile, a little stronger. You've been challenging the cardio in the cardio sessions. So all I'm gonna do now is just run through a few of those moves, and maybe add in a new one or two, just to uh, keep us uh, nice and motivated, really. But one of the biggest ones we can do, certainly for any of the, our sitting down sports, so the, the, the kayaks, basically, um, is this just this sit and reach maneuver. So feet out front, soft knees, sitting up straight, and then just sitting forward to where we start to feel that tension so I can feel it uh, in, my, in my hamstrings. I've been sitting at the desk too long over the last couple of weeks for sure. Haven't done enough stretching, not enough mobility, uh, and I can feel it in my glutes and my lower back. So all I'm gonna do is sit up straight and just gently lean forward. I, I can, if I want to just increase that stretch, that, that push, I can gently press down. I'm not forcing myself forward, I'm just adding a little bit more kind of resistance, a little bit more tension into it. If I hold that for 15 seconds, that that kind of auto, that little bit of pain response, that discomfort will ease. So then I can take it a little bit further. And I can hold that may, maybe 30 to 45 seconds, maybe even a minute. And each time I'll, I'll just start to relax it off a little bit and I'll be able to go a little bit further forward. Like I say, I can already feel these last few weeks of being in front of the computer too much, that things are starting to tighten up here um, and I need to work on that. So this ability, if, I, if this is hard to sit upright, even just upright, I'm limiting myself in my kayak. Straight away, I'm using extra energy. I'm trying to use my abs to pull me forward or worse still, I'm using my backrest to do that for me. I don't want to be doing that. The backrest is a backrest. It's not something that should pull you forward into a good posture. Our body should be holding us in good posture. Really, really important. Can't emphasize that enough, really. It turns out that I end up nagging rather than <laughs> emphasizing. So I want to be able to hold just good posture. I don't need to be having my chest on my knees or anything. I just need good, good posture with ease. Once I've got that, I can maneuver much, much easier. So I can create more power. I can be in the right position all the time, which means more control. So first one, the forward bend. Sticking with the uh, sitting down sports for a little bit, but doesn't mean you can, you can do this, you suckers can ignore this one, this one's really important for you as well, is I'm just gonna bring my feet together and let my knees out to the side. Again, I can definitely tell I've just not done enough mobility over the last few weeks. And I'm just letting my knees relax out to the sides. If I, if I can't get any further than that, then I can gently just apply a little bit of stretch by pushing out with my elbows. I'm not forcing my knees down, I'm just applying a little bit more stretch to that. I'm trying to keep this open, I don't want to be collapsing in here. Again, this is going to help us with that comfort in the boat. It's going to help us connect to our boat, it's going to help us control our boat. So with this one, once I've kind of sat here for 10, 15 seconds, just stretching or with a little bit of applied uh, load to it, then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm just gonna bring my knees up to my elbows and I'm gonna squeeze my knees and my elbows together for the count of 10. I'm gonna squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> Once I've squeezed for about 10 seconds, I'm then gonna just come back and go back into another relaxation. And I can feel that's just gone down marginally a little bit further. And then I'm gonna just keep repeating that. So I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna apply that little bit of extra stretch. 
I'm gonna bring it up and push, 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 and resist my elbow against my knee to the point of it's just really awkward. But it's gonna build a bit of strength as well, a bit of resistance, and then I'm gonna let it relax again out to the side. Really nice little maneuver. It's working the, the, the kind of inner thigh up into our groin. Uh, it's gonna help us sit better in the boat, but it's gonna just strengthen this in here and it's gonna create more mobility as well. So for all of us, uh, that rotational ability, whether it's where we're rotating to forward paddle, we're rotating into a move, whether it's a spin or a calf, whatever it is, that rotational ability is really important. So I'm gonna come down onto all fours and then I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna reach through under my chest to drop my opposite shoulder, my left shoulder down to the floor. I'm gonna reach through and I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure with this arm just to create a bit more stretch. Again, I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm just trying to get that mobility out into the sort of, it's almost like from lower back up into my mid spine that, so I'm getting that, that bit of rotation. I don't want to push it too far. I don't want it to be causing pain. I just need it to be stretching me. So I can come through either way. Great move for all those rotational type strokes or maneuvers. Last little mobility move for you. Uh, we're going to just look at a bit of core, but also a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of lower back, a little bit of glute. So we're going to come up onto all fours. It's going to bring my legs back a little bit, hands forward. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to sink back so that I get a nice stretch up through the lats, a little bit through the pec, a little bit through the deltoid, a little bit through the tricep, and bring my hands, my head down to the floor. I'm going to relax there and just let that stretch kind of come in. I can move my hands in to, to change where that point of stretch is. I can move myself around just to change the angles and come back out. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna bring myself through and push myself up. I get a nice stretch through the, through the core, through my abs. I'm just gonna work through that. Coming back down, my hands together just to change the point of stretch. Leave my hands around. Just keep that mobility moving and come back through. Really nice little, it's a good way to wake up in the morning that one. It's a really nice one. I, used to, I tend to do this after boating as well. It really, really helps just keep everything moving, not, not just stiffen up. Get on those mobility sessions. Every day you can do those. Doesn't matter kind of how you're feeling, the mobility session's really, really gonna help. If, if there was, out of those three things, the strength, mobility, and the cardio, if I was gonna say, oh, if you're only gonna do one, do mobility, that's really gonna help. If you're gonna do two, do mobility and strength. If you're gonna do all three, even better, it'd be great.